This image was inspired by a weekend binge of Sherlock Holmes movies. In this video, I'll show you how I used a texture layer to build that kind of atmosphere in my own art that inspired me from the movies. It's a simple but powerful way to add mood and character. Let's have fun with a texture layer. This is the base image that I started with, AI generated. And what it was after was that old London town, laneways or streets, nighttime with that foggy and misty feeling to it. What I wanted to do was now go, well, what characters am I going to add? What elements? And so I decided to put a lone figure in of what I call my Victorian era man. Love the top hat and the coat. And it really gave me that feel of Sherlock Holmes walking through the laneway. Now I've got my element. It's about colour grading and getting the mood and making it sort of dark and dingy. And my go-to tool on this one is the colour lookup. Now, before I turn that layer on, to access the colour lookup table, go and click on this icon here, Load 3D, and the one that I use is Foggy Night, and this gives me that really deep cinematic tones. Now you can see the difference in the tones and the colours. Let's have a look at the mask that's attached to the colour lookup, and what I've done is brushed off that look up table in certain areas which then exposed the light coming through the window. To do that you access the brush. You can change the opacity on the brush that's totally up to you what you want to do. Make sure that the foreground is black and then I came along and just brushed off that look up table or foggy night just in different areas and that exposed the light that was underneath. And so it gave that illusion of nighttime with the lights coming through the windows, and I just loved it. Now I look at the image and I looked at the tower or the clock tower, and I thought, oh, I don't like the clock face on that. What can I do? So I went to the stash, got one of my clocks, replaced it up the top there, and now that gives a little bit more what I call realistic look of a clock. My next layer, I've done a levels, and I just did a little bit of quick auto on the levels, and by that I mean I'll turn the levels on and I just click on auto and then I'll see what it does, and then I might adjust my mid-tone slider. It's basically an eye thing. What I've done here now is applied a photo filter in a cyan colour. This is one of my go-to tools. Why I wanted this was to bring a little bit more blue coming through. If you think of the colour blue, it's about peace. It also can be used as a mood colour. I'll turn that layer on and you can see that infusion of blue coming through, but it's also lightened it, which I didn't mind. But I'm going to have a look at the opacity and you can see it's 76%. If that was on 100%, it would be a lot more brighter. And I'll play with my blend modes and opacity a number of times on the different layers. The next layer, I've added a tint that is in my colour tints in the shop, so I'll turn that on. Now, what that's done is given a slight infusion of warmer tones. When I'm working with colour grading, if the predominant colour that I'm wanting is blue, I still want those warm tones coming through on some images, and I'll use different techniques to do that. I'll turn that layer off and on. This is where I added a texture layer to give it that moody, foggy atmosphere. I'm going to come up here and I'll turn the layer on, and you can see now what it's done. It's given what I call that deep tone, that real grungy, noisy, atmospheric feel to the image. But let's have a look at the texture. I'm going to turn the blend mode off. I'm going to make sure that the opacity is at 100% and I'll disable that mask. Now the texture that I've used is old navy blue and it's in my Love the Blues texture collection. 
and I'll put the link in the description for you. But why I use textures, and particularly this one, is I wanted that textured look, but I wanted that colour grading to come through. Generally, some people will think, oh, but a texture's about the end just to put a little tactile look on an image. But you can use certain digital textures for colour grading, adding a subtle um, tactile look to a texture. But this one, if you look at it, it's got that light and dark, which does play with the dark and the light on the image. Let's go back and turn that layers back on. So the blend mode is overlay, the opacity is at 54%. Also, if you look at the mask, I've brushed off some of the areas where I didn't want that texture to appear. I've looked at the image and I think, well, this is exactly what I'm after. I'll turn the next layer on. But what I decided was to get rid of that what I call distractor at the top right-hand side. I'll turn it on and off. And I felt it gave a cleaner line because I wanted the viewer to look in to the laneway, not looking up too high. I've done a curves adjustment layer to give it a little bit more of a lift. I've then brushed in some fog and give it that mood and mystic. And this is the image. It was what I call a quick edit. I wanted to play. I wasn't going to create a masterpiece. And this is what you can do, is just experiment with different layers, using different techniques. And it doesn't have to be an image with 40 to 50 layers. It's all about creating. And I had fun. I did a series of these images all based around different scenes from Sherlock Holmes. But the takeaway from this video is basically how do you add mood and atmosphere into an image? And the way that I did for this was to use a texture. And textures are fun and they can give you different looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some little tips from this Sherlock Holmes inspired image. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe or press that button to be notified when I put my weekly videos up. Have fun being creative.